Noon, Georgia's newest member of Congress is sharing some insight on her experience so far in office. Karen Handel won a special election during a rather tough time in our nation's capital. Rebecca Schramm has this story you'll see only on CBS 46. Please join me in welcoming Congressman Karen Handel. It's been almost two months since Karen Handel was sworn in as a U.S. representative for Georgia's 6th Congressional District. She told an audience of some of the state's most successful engineers that it hasn't been easy. It is um, very acrimonious right now. But she says not Maybe. once have Republican leaders in Washington told her how to vote. For example, my first day, what are you going to vote on? I don't even remember now what the bill was. I said, I have no idea. What's the bill? I've been here three hours. What bill? Um, but I mean, it was very much, okay, go take a look at the bill. Let us know if you have questions. Help us get you. Tell us what you need to have to get you to the place that you need to be supportive. She shared some insight on tax reform, right. telling the engineers that's likely the next thing Congress will tackle after the break. We had some legislation come through the House. She talked about the, the renewed Senate focus on the opioid crisis, the and she discussed health care reform, saying she was speechless that the Senate didn't pass something. The rubber will meet the road, so to speak, at the end of October when open enrollment begins. She says that's when many Georgians will learn from their insurers that their premiums will once again go up or that their provider will no longer be in their region. The Senate does have the ability through its rules to bring it back up. I don't know if that is going to happen. I wanted to ask Congresswoman Handel her take on Confederate monuments and who she thinks should be the ones deciding whether they stay or go. She did not make herself available for an interview. In downtown Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.